What's up guys? In this tutorial, I will show you how to install and use the Flipper Clip app on your Windows PC or Mac. To use Flipper Clip and other mobile apps, you must use an Android emulator such as Bluestacks. Bluestacks is a popular choice as it allows you to completely customize your Android experience. Click on the first link in the description to access this page. From here, download the Bluestacks 5 setup installer for your system. This should take a second to complete and you can follow the install wizard to install the application to your system. After the installation is complete, Bluestacks should open up automatically. Next, open the Play Store and ensure you're logged in with your Google account. Search for Flipper Clip and download the app to your Bluestacks emulator. Depending on your network connection, this might take a few minutes to complete. While downloading, you should look at your emulator settings. Click on this gear icon to access these settings. In the Performance tab, you should set these according to your PC's performance. Allocate a high number of CPU cores if you don't have many other applications running in the background. The same goes for your memory allocation. For users with 4GB or less RAM, set this option to Basic. Under Performance mode, make sure to set this option to Balanced. This will reduce the memory and CPU usage if your PC lags or you otherwise encounter low performance. I prefer to enable the high FPS option and set the frame rate of the emulator according to my screen refresh rate. If you want to troubleshoot performance issues, enable the Display FPS during gameplay option in the Bluestack settings. You can leave the other settings to the default option and then open the Flipper Clip app from your home screen. After launching the app, you can adjust the size of the window by dragging its corners. Sign in with your account to continue creating animations using the projects you created on your mobile device. You can also choose to use a new account. You can create new projects and import files just as you would on the mobile version of the app. I hope this helped you out. Leave a comment if you have any questions and see you in the next one.